and welcome to your Go Market Update charts of the day for the 28th of July 2023. Happy Friday to you all. I hope you're looking forward to the weekend. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, to take you around what's happening slightly after the midpoint of the Asian session. Uh, major indices stuttered overnight in the US. We had an ECB raising rates with the hawkish narrative. We got a report that the Bank of Japan were going to intervene on yields. Uh, we'll talk a bit more about that in a moment. Uh, the Dow run of 13 straight days of gains came to an end as all indices fell off after a bright start following positive US GDP number. Could be some caution before the PCE data uh, that's due out later today. US futures are higher in the Asian session. Asian markets are generally lower. And trading towards the lows of the session at this stage, the ASX is down a little over 1%. European futures are pointing to a soft open. The VIX did move higher, but still at historically low levels. A US dollar index was stronger overnight. JPY strength was also evident overnight. We'll see more of that today. Gold almost dropped 2% overnight. Copper breached 200 EMA to the downside, falling to 385. And all held near $80 level at 15-month highs. All of commodities are under a little bit of pressure at the moment. Uh, let's see what happens as the day progresses. Bitcoin is still just about holding on to 29,000 support. Uh, the Japanese CPI came out higher than expected. Australian retail sales and PPI were cooler than was thought and certainly a lot cooler than last month. Later on, we've got the German CPI and the GDP due. And later on tonight, we've got that US PCE data. Uh, that BOJ rate decision and statement that's gone along with it has sent the yen into a very strong position. We'll have a look at a chart in a moment. Uh, so looking at the Aussie yen as an example, you can see this is today's candle on the back of yesterday. So we saw that strength overnight in the yen, further strength this morning, it's taking it right down to the 200 EMA at 92.23. Now, if we look at the short term price action, this is when the BOJ statement came out. So you can see how choppy it's been. Initially, we moved higher and then we've just sold off again, trying to find a reasonable level to sit at. And you can see there's that 200 MA on the daily chart at 92.23. So not surprising, perhaps, that it's pausing around that level for right now. Be interesting to see where we go next on this. But obviously, watch the swing low from today's price action as a potential point of interest. With the ASX, the construction sector is still very positive. We've got James Hardy Industries here. And you can see here we're holding on to small gains despite the fact the market is down in excess of 1%. That's interesting in itself. It is trying to tackle an important level at 43. If we take this back to the weekly chart, you can see that this is a level that suggests that there's potential upside here maybe even to around about 46 in the medium term. There could be a pause uh, around about 44.50, uh, around about that level there, which was uh, resistance temporarily as far back as January 2021. So certainly buying pressure in this stock continues. One to keep your eye on for sure. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.